Doncaster. Today what we're going to do is show you how to fly the DJI Phantom 2. Um, it's got the Zenmuse gimbal on it, it's got FPV gear on it uh, and we've got some Sky Zone goggles to test it out with today. One of the first things to do is to test the battery voltage. We do that by pressing this button there and the LEDs light up to let you know how much voltage is in your battery. Good idea to check before you take off that you've got full voltage in your battery. To turn the Phantom on, best practice is first to turn the transmitter on. Make sure both switches are up at the top, so in GPS mode and home lock and course lock are off. Press the button once and then you hold it down for two seconds. And the Phantom will initialise itself. All we need to do first, and this is really important, is that we let the Phantom get GPS lock. If it doesn't get GPS lock on the ground, it won't know its home position. Um, and should you flick return to home or you go out of range, it's not going to know its home position and it's going to disappear off into the distance. We check that it's got home lock by looking at the LEDs underneath the arms and we're looking for a pulsing quick flash of green. At the moment I'm getting green and I'm getting a couple of reds. And it's just pulsed green now. That means it's got its home position. And I know that I'm safe take off now the Phantom 2 knows where its home is and if it goes out of range or I flip return to home the Phantom is going to return to this point here. The first thing we need to do is we need to turn on the motors and get the propellers spinning and that sticks to the center and down. There we go the propellers are spinning to take off we've got throttle on that stick and we're just going to push it up to get the aircraft into the air. Now once in the air, the Phantom's got the GPS and it will keep itself pretty much in the same position, hands off. And as you can see, I'm not actually having any input into the control of the Phantom. So the basics of flying the Phantom are, we've got throttle on the, the left stick here, so you push it up, the Phantom will rise, you pull it down, the Phantom will descend. You go left, it'll rotate to the left, you go right, It'll rotate to the right. Push forward, the Phantom will go forward. If you pull back, the Phantom will come back. If you go left, it's slew left. If you go right, it's slew to the right. Once again, if you let go of the controls, it just stays sat there in the sky. So just here, I'll demonstrate the gimbal. You can see the gimbal holding the GoPro underneath. If I throw it side to side, what you will notice is that the gimbal keeps the GoPro straight. So no matter what the angle of the quadcopter, the GoPro is kept straight, even going forward and going backwards. Now to land the Phantom, once again you need to check your surrounding area, make sure there's no one in the way. And to land it, it's just a simple matter of getting into the position where you want to descend, gently lowering the throttle. And it'll descend at a gentle rate. If you hold the throttle down at the bottom, it'll turn the motors off. Easy as that. That's how you fly a Phantom. Dead easy. What I'm going to show you now is how to use FPV. What we're using here is a brand new Sky Zone diversity goggles. So we've got two different types of antenna on here. We've got a Helix and we've got a skew antenna on this side. It's diversity, so it'll switch between the best signal on whichever antenna we're using. Um, there's a video transmitter just underneath the Phantom, which is transmitting live video from the GoPro, and I can see that on these goggles here. So what we're going to do is we've just got to get the Phantom up in the air. With the Phantom up in the air now and hovering, we can now pop the goggles down and go for a quick FPV, first person view flight.
can land using first person view, but I always suggest taking the goggles off for landing so you can check your surroundings, you can make sure there's no people about, no animals, no nuns, small children, orphans, little kittens, little, little squirrel, anything that could uh, cause a health and safety risk. Bring it down nice and gentle on the throttle. And we're down, holding the throttle down at the bottom until the motors go off. There you go, easy as that. The other great thing about these Sky Zone goggles are is that you can pop them down. There's a little button just there. If you press that button, you can see through the camera right at the front there. This is a really wide field of view though. You can look around, you can walk around, make yourself dizzy, feel sick all over but it's great it's really good if you are flying FPV and some people walk near you you can at least just flick onto the camera and you can see who's around you see what's near you so you don't have to take the goggles off and it's a really quick and safe way between flicking between um, FPV your first person view from your aircraft so having a quick look around without the need to take the goggles off really clear screen as well these sky zones are absolutely fantastic so Johnny's just going to have a quick fly of the Phantom now, just to show you doing some circuits. And the Phantom's really, really easy to fly. There's absolutely no drama flying it. It's simple controls. You've got the throttle makes it go up and down. Uh, you've got the rudder on the left stick, which makes it yaw. And then on the right stick, you've got forward movement, you've got backwards movement, and you've got left and right as well. It's a really, really easy aircraft to fly. So at the moment I'm looking at the first person view goggles, I can see where Johnny's flying. I can see exactly what the GoPro's seeing. So what that means is I can I can change the shot, I can get the GoPro exactly where I need it to get that perfect photo or perfect video. On the back of the transmitter, there is actually a slider which can move side to side and that pans the GoPro up and down on the Zenmuse gimbal. So if you're flying over something, you can pan it down and you can actually look down upon the subject that you want to take the video or the photo of. Considering Johnny and myself have flown many quadcopters, we've flown the TDS Discovery, the F450, we've flown the 550, I've got a really big hexcopter. I'll pretty much argue that that, the DJI Phantom, is probably one of the best flying compact quadcopters that you can buy and especially with the Zenmuse gimbal keeping the GoPro absolutely rock steady all the time I don't think you could get for the price a much better photo and video platform for aerial use it is really genuinely that good isn't it Johnny? we like this Phantom we like it a lot What you can probably see is this Phantom is absolutely unbelievably agile, you can really throw it about. If Johnny flicks it side to side, it's so agile and so quick. Yet in the same breath, if you let go of the control, it just sits perfectly still in the sky. Once the propellers have stopped rotating, turn it off, it's dead easy. Press the button once, and you hold it down for two seconds. It's exactly the same way to turn it on as well, so you press the button once, hold it down for two seconds, and then you turn the transmitter off. As easy as that to fly a Phantom. Well, what a bit of kit. I've just realised with these goggles on, I do actually look like a Dalek with an erection. Not a good look. Look, the Muppet! Ah! So it does actually make you feel very dizzy. You do look a complete pillock walking around with some goggles on. I nearly died! <laughs>